Hi there. My name is Megan. I'm really glad you joined me. Uh, we're gonna do some yoga today together. Hopefully you have got outside a little bit today too because it is beautiful and sunny and vitamin D is so good for our bodies just like yoga is too. Um, just a couple things to remember while you're practicing today, really pay attention to your body. If something doesn't feel right, you can stop, you can modify, you can come back to a comfortable seated position and just breathe. Or you can come into child's pose, which I will show you in just a moment. Um, hopefully the focus of today's class will be um, some sun salutations. Sun salutation A, sun salutation B. Hi Grace, um, that's my daughter. And then I have a son, he's back in his room playing some video games. Hey. Um, so that might be your background noise. Um, but anyways, back to the yoga class. Hopefully what we'll be focusing today on are sun salutations. Sun A and a sun B, and then some relaxation, of course. Um, yeah, and a sun salutation is just a really fancy word for warm up. Um, the ancient yogis probably did it in the morning to kind of say good morning to the sun or to salute the sun. And basically, um, the whole practice of yoga for those guys was, you know, they would put themselves through this rigorous amount of exercise and holding these poses for a really long time so that they could sit in meditation for a really long time. And currently, we are all sort of stuck in our houses, stuck in our homes. Um, maybe mom and dad, they're not going to work, you're not going to school, you're missing your friends. Um, so yoga is really a great way to sort of bring yourself into the moment and to be able to sit quietly and um, to sort of handle this added stress and anxiety that we probably are all feeling. All right, so let's get started. Um, you're going to sit comfortably, and I might have to adjust the camera here and there so that you can see um, all the poses. This is also the first time I have ever made a video um, practicing yoga, but it was a um, really great opportunity, and I'm happy to be doing it uh, for you guys. So I hope you enjoy. All right, so sitting comfortably with a nice tall spine, let's take a deep breath in through our nose. Open your mouth and let it go. And breathe in again. And out. And take another long breath in through your nose. And a long breath out. Okay, so before we get moving, I wanted to show you child's pose. This is a really restorative pose. You can come to it at any point in the class. Um, even when we're in downward facing dog, because we're probably going to do quite a few of those today, um, if child's pose feels better, go ahead and do it. So basically you're bringing your big toes together to touch, you're spreading your knees wide to the edges of your mat, you're going to sit your butt back on your heels, reach forward with your hands to the front of the mat, and then rest your head down, your forehead down on the mat. I hope you can see that. I'm not sure you could. So I'm going to do a little bit of an adjustment here. Hello, I'm going to get real close and show you that one more time. Okay, this is child's pose. Okay, all right, let's come into tabletop. So tabletop, your hands should be shoulder width distance, your knees are hips width distance, your fingers are spread really, really wide, your bicep muscles are rotated and facing the front of your mat. Your spine is really long here from the tippity top of your head to the tippity top of your tailbone. So this is just a neutral spine tabletop position. This is also an option anytime we're in downward facing dog for you to be here. Okay? All right, we're gonna add a little movement to this. We're gonna add some cat and cow stretches. So on a big breath in, you're gonna drop your belly down towards your mat, lift your chin and look up. On your breath out, you're gonna press and round through your palms, round your spine, tuck your chin to your chest and breathe out. Breathe in, belly drops, chin lifts. Breathe out, press and round. And now you're just matching 
these movements to your breath, breathing in, breathing out. Take a few more of these, breathe in, belly drops, chin lifts. Breathe out, press and round. Making sure your shoulders, elbows and wrists are all stacked up, making one nice line. All right, come back to that neutral spine, tabletop position, and I want you to tuck your toes in the back, <clears throat> and you're gonna lift your hips nice and high, press into your palms, and come into your first downward facing dog for today. Or maybe it's not, maybe you already practiced yoga today. So your knees can be super soft in your downward facing dog. I think I'm gonna turn my mat sideways so that you can see me. So, it's all right. All right, so here we are, downward facing dog, just like this. So hips are high, your head and neck, just let them go. Fingers are still spread wide, feet are still hip width distance, hands are shoulders width distance. Your knees can be really soft here in this first downward facing dog. And let's add a little movement to this one. We call it walking out the dog, just lifting one heel, pressing the other to the mat, and then switching. Relaxing your shoulders away from your ears, so you kind of pull your shoulder blades together and down your back, pulling your belly to your spine. Nice. And then we're going to take a nice big breath in, lift your heels super duper high, bend your knees, look forward, and walk your feet up to meet your hands. Okay, you can bring your feet right out to the edges of your mat. Okay, and we're going to come into ragdoll. So feet are out at the edges of your mat, knees are soft and bent, and you're folded forward. Really let that head and neck go. Grab opposite elbows and just hang out here. This is ragdoll. Maybe sway gently side to side. Yeah. Good, belly's pulled into your spine. And then let your hands come down to the mat. Bring your feet together to touch. And with your knees very, very bent, you're gonna slowly roll yourself up to a standing position. And I have to adjust the camera again so you can see me. Okay, all right. So here we are, standing tall, just like this. Big toes are touching, heels are spread apart just a little bit. Yeah, okay. And we're gonna take a nice big breath in, bring your palms over your head, bring your palms together to touch. And then I want you to lean to the right, stretching the left side of your body, maybe peeking up at the ceiling. And then take a breath in, come back through center, lean over to the left, stretching the right side of your body. Nice, come back through center, big breath in. <clears throat> big breath out, hands come to heart center. All right, we're gonna start our first sun A. So, there's two ways that we bring our body back down to the floor and back into downward facing dog. I'm gonna show you both of those. I'm gonna do one version the first time we go through it and the second version the second time we go through it. And then you can choose what feels right for you. Okay. We will begin in mountain pose, so drop your, your arms down by your sides. Your palms face the front of your mat. Your belly pulls to your spine and your tailbone tucks. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Pull your shoulder blades together and down your back. This is mountain pose or Tadasana. We'll take a big breath in, reach up, look up. Palms pressed together. A big breath out, fold forward. Bring your hands all the way down to the mat. On your next breath in, you're gonna lift halfway. So you're gonna lift your hands to your shins or your knees. Your back is super duper straight from the top of your head to the tip of your tailbone. So this is a halfway lift. Okay. From here, you breathe out. You're gonna bring your hands down and I'm gonna show you the first way that you can do this. I think I have to tilt this again. So sorry, all new to this. <clears throat> so hands come down, knees come down, and then from here, belly, chest, chin, forehead. Okay, then you're gonna inhale to cobra pose. Okay, so your heart lifts, your hands are right underneath your shoulders, the tops of your feet are pressing into the mat. Exhale, let your forehead drop back down to your mat. 
Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. Okay? So that was one sun A. We're going to do a couple more, and then I'm going to show you a sun B as well. All right. So let's get back into downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in through your nose and a deep breath out. Inhale your heels nice and high. Bend your knees, look forward at your hands, and step your feet to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. <clears throat> and then I want you to really root those heels down into your mat. Bring your arms out wide like bird wings and come all the way to a standing position. So really root into those feet to rise. Take your hands over your head. Exhale your hands to heart center. Drop your hands by your sides. Come back into your mountain pose. And here's the second way to get down onto the floor and back into downward facing dog. All right, mountain pose. Breathe in. Stretch up, look up. Breathe out, fold forward. Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, hands down. And then step back to a high push-up position. From here, you'll breathe out. Elbows stay right by your sides. Low push-up. Inhale, upward facing dog. So in upward facing dog, your elbows are soft. The tops of your feet are pressing down into the mat. And your knees and thighs are lifted off the mat. Upward facing dog. From here, you can drop the knees, come into tabletop, and then come back to downward facing dog. Or you can go right from that upward facing dog. Boop, roll over the tops of your feet, come back into downward facing dog. All right, I hope you're feeling good. I hope you can see me and all that I'm doing here. <laughs> Let me adjust it one more time. Sorry to keep getting real close. I just want you to be able to see what I'm doing. So I might stand a little further away. All right, we've got two more sun A's to do, and then we're gonna tackle sun B together. All right, palms facing forward, mountain pose. Take a long breath in, and a long breath out. Let's breathe in, look up, reach up. Hands pressed together over your head. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, so hands come to your shins or your knees. Mm -hmm. Exhale, hands down, step it back, so high to low, or you can bring your knees, belly, chest, your knees down, belly, chest, and chin. Exhale, low push-up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. There we go, we're doing it. Take a long breath in, and a long breath out. Inhale, lift those heels high. Bend your knees, look forward at your hands. Step your feet to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Root into those heels to rise. Come all the way to up. All the way up, 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 up. Palms press over your head. Exhale, hands to heart center. All right, terrific. I think we have one more. I don't know, I lost count. I think we were gonna do two more. Let's just do one more. And then we'll move on to sun B. All right, drop your hands to your sides, mountain pose. Breathe in, look up, reach up, breathe out. You should start feeling a little bit warmer. I know that I am. Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, hands down. I'll do it the other way. Knees down, just so you can see it again. Belly, chest, and chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, fold. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, moving on, my friends. Take those heels up nice and high, breathe in. Bend your knees, look forward. Step your feet to the front of the mat. Bring your big toes together to touch. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. This time, on your next inhale, you're gonna drop your hips back. Drop them back like you're sitting in a chair. So you want your knees squeezing together. You want your hips sitting back. Thighs are squeezing together. You wanna to be able to look down and see all 10 toes. Maybe even lift them up and then press all your toes back down onto the mat. You can take your arms and stretch and reach them forward. If this is hard on your shoulders, you can bend your elbows. So here we are, chair pose. 
turn your pinky fingers towards one another while you hold this. Now, we're gonna get really comfy here. We're gonna sit with this and it's gonna feel challenging, okay? But we've all been sitting at home for a really long time too, I bet. So, and that's challenging, but that's the super cool part of yoga, okay? What we're doing on the mat, we can take off of the mat and do elsewhere in our lives. Really good lessons here. So let's sit with this for a little bit longer. Really breathe in, breathe out. Breath in and breath out, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, hands down. Okay, I'm gonna step it back this time. High push up, breathe out, low push up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, take that right foot and lift it off the mat. Point all your toes down towards the mat. Really flex that right heel. Now step your right foot to your right thumb. Boop, just like that. And then take a look. So now we're in a low lunge, okay? And then I want you to bring your right foot to the right edge of your mat a little bit. We're coming into warrior number one and you don't really want your feet like they're on a tightrope. You want some space in between them. So now take a look at that back heel. You're gonna spin that left heel in and down. Okay, so now your toes of your left foot are kind of angled and pointing up towards this corner of your mat, the left corner of your mat. Okay, so from here you're gonna rise. Warrior number one, here we are. So you wanna feel lots of pressing through that outside edge of the back foot, bending into your front knee, strong leg in the back. Don't let your knee come over your foot. And then take your arms up. Relax those shoulders away from your ears. Breathe in and breathe out. This is warrior number one. Breathe in. On your next breath out, bring your hands back down. Step that right foot back. High to low or bring the knees down. Belly, chest, and chin. Okay. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, fold. Inhale, table. Exhale, downward facing dog. So, one of the rules of yoga is that you gotta do it on the other side, right? So that you're balanced. So we're gonna take that left foot and lift it up. All those toes are pointing down towards the mat. You're flexing that back heel. Breathe in. As you breathe out, step your left foot to your left thumb, okay? Pause here for a moment, set yourself up. Take a look at that back heel, spin it in and down, and then rise up. Warrior number one on the other side. Here we are. So the outside edge of your back foot is pressing into the mat. Bend into that front knee, super strong leg in the back. Yep, belly is still pulled into your spine. Shoulders are relaxing away from your ears. Pinkies are rotating and turning in towards one another. Take a breath in and a breath out. Breathe in, breathe out. Hands come down. Let's step that left foot back, high to low. Yep. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice. Let's come into a child's pose, just for a minute. So, you should be feeling some heat building in your body, if not a little bit of sweat. Um, and that's good. If you're not, that's okay too. Um, let's focus here on our breath. Let's do three together. Breathe in and breathe out. Another breath in and a breath out. One more time. Breathe it in. Breathe out. Let's meet back and downward facing dog. So tuck those toes, lift those hips nice and high. Still the knees can be soft. All right, take a breath in, lift your right foot. On that exhale, right foot, right thumb. Pause here, get yourself set up, spin that back heel in and down. Rise, warrior number one. For a breath in. Exhale, hands come down. Step it back, high to low. High, breathe out, low. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Lift your heels nice and high, bend your knees, take a look at your hands, step your feet to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, let's do it. Hold it here, 
for a three. You're so much stronger than you think. Don't forget that. Two, sink a little bit lower. One, fold it forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down. Step it back. High to low. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, left side, here we go. Inhale that foot, left foot up. On your next breath out, step it forward. There we go. Spin the back heel in and down, rise, warrior number one. Breathe in and breathe out. One more time, breathe in and breathe out. Bring your hands down. Let's step it back, here we go. I'm gonna bring my knees down this time. My belly, chest and chin. Breathe in, cobra. Breathe out, fold it forward. Inhale, come to tabletop. And let's all meet right here at tabletop. Nice work on your sun A and sun B. I hope I didn't totally confuse you. We'll go over them again in the next video and then we'll do some other stuff um, with that one as well. All right, I hope you guys are feeling good. Um, we're gonna slow things down, bring ourselves back down onto the mat and get ready for one of the most important poses in yoga, Shavasana, which is our resting pose. All right, before we do that, we're gonna thread the needle. So you're gonna leave your left hand down right underneath your nose. You're gonna inhale, take your right hand up high. You can look at it. And what we're doing is we're trying to roll to this part of the shoulder. So take that right hand and lift it super high and then it's gonna scoot underneath the left arm, roll to that right shoulder, and then you're here. If this feels good, you can stay here. If you want a little bit more, you can take that left hand and reach it to the front of your mat. Threading the needle. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Awesome. Come on back up to tabletop. Let's do it on the other side. Right hand right underneath your nose. Inhale, take that left hand high. And then let's roll onto that left tippity top of that shoulder, staying here. Or if you need a little bit more, taking that right hand to the front of your mat. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Let's bring it back to tabletop. And then we're just gonna scoot like this to bring our feet around and sit back in that comfy seated position. Take a long breath in and a long breath out. I'm just gonna adjust the mirror, not the mirror, the phone one more time because we're gonna be here on the floor for a little bit. Okay, we're gonna work on bridge pose, okay? So you come all the way onto your back, bend your knees, bring your arms along the sides of your body. So your fingers, the tips of your fingers should be brushing um, your heels. Then you know you have the, the proper alignment for bridge pose. So from here, you're gonna take a breath in. On your breath out, you're gonna press into your feet, lift your hips nice and high. The back of your head is gonna stay down on the mat. Your chin is pulled to your chest. And then you get to hang out here and watch your belly lift as you breathe in. And then let it fall as you breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. One more big breath in, big breath out. Slowly lower your hips down onto the ground. Maybe you let your knees windshield wipers side to side. Yep. Good. And then we're gonna do sort of a silly pose. It's called happy baby. It's a nice hip opener. So you lift your feet up towards the ceiling. You grab the bottoms of your feet. Um, you wanna make sure that your low back um, it's still pressing down into your mat when you're doing happy baby. And you can kind of let it rock side to side, whatever feels good. Pull those knees right down close to the floor. Awesome. And then we'll let that go. And then all you have to do now is you're going to take your feet and just lift them up over your head. And let your arms come out to the side and flex your feet and point your feet. So it's really good um, towards the end of your yoga practice to get your feet up over your head, an inversion. So the blood flow now starts coming back down your legs and into 
all those good organs that are in charge of our digestive system, our breathing, pumping our blood through our body, our heart. So there we go. We can take another three breaths here. All right, you guys are gonna get ready to rest in Shavasana. Now I might be doing some moving around while you guys are in resting pose. So once you get there, I just want you to stay there. You don't have to look for me to see what I'm doing. I might be moving around or adjusting the camera. What's important is that you guys are there lying, resting and just breathing. Let's do a spinal twist. Pull your knees into your belly. Drop your arms out to the side like a T. And let both knees drop over to the right and look left. Excellent. And then we'll switch it. So knees come back through center. Drop both knees over to the left. Look right. So Shavasana looks like this. You just want to let your body totally relax on the floor. Your legs can sort of spread wide. Your arms can spread wide. Eyes can close if that feels comfortable, which I'm sure at this point you would be able to close your eyes. I hope you guys are feeling good. Let's take a big breath in together and a big breath out. So now you're in Shavasana. Just keep listening to my voice. Okay. And just keep breathing. Relaxing your face muscles, relaxing your jaw, relaxing your, your hands and fingers and toes and legs and thighs, all of it. Just let it all go. And um, I just want you to imagine that you are getting scooped up and underneath you, you're getting scooped up by this big white puppy cloud and it's super soft and it's super safe. And as it lifts you up, this white puffy cloud just rocks you gently side to side, floating up, gently rocking you side to side. And this big white puffy cloud is taking you to a very safe place, a place that you love. you feel really good about yourself, really good about others. There's lots of colors here to see. And there's lots of sounds here for you to listen to. And then when you're ready, this big white puffy cloud is gently going to rock you back down onto the earth. And as it drops you off, this cloud um, releases from underneath you. And as it scoops away, it brings with it anything you're worried about. Anything that's bothering you, anything that upset you today, or maybe made you feel sad, or worried, or scared. And that white puffy cloud is going to take it with, with the white puffy cloud. All that stuff is going to go with the cloud. Long breath in through your nose and a big breath out of your mouth. Bring some awareness back to your body. Maybe wiggle your fingers and toes. Let's take a full body stretch. So really stretch your toes all the way to the tippity top of the mat and your hands way back behind you. And then pull your knees into your belly. Give them a big squeeze, a big hug. And then roll over onto your right side in a little fetal position that looks like this. Reminding yourself that you get to begin again. And then slowly, slowly, slowly bring yourself back up to a nice comfy seated position at the front of your mat. Yeah. Relax your shoulders. Nice tall spine. Let's take a big breath in together. I'm really so glad you guys did this today. I hope you um, will join me again for yoga.
this was really great. Let's bring our hands together in front of our heart. Reminding ourselves that we're kind, that we're loving. And then bring your thumb knuckles to your third eye center right here, the space between your brows. This is your wise old owl, the place of all knowing. And we'll breathe in together. And as we breathe out, we'll bow together, honoring each other, and say namaste. All right, so super good job today. I hope you guys liked it, and I hope that you join me again. Take care and be well.